a very known player just because he is a Tahlequah player, so he only really goes out to rewinds. Mm -hmm. But he's taken sets from Caden. He's taken, you know, he, he's gotten really good placings at rewind, so it's definitely a player to not sleep on. I mean, it's one of those players that, like, and honestly, generally, most of the Teleco players, like, both, uh, like, him, you have uh, Chili Bats, who's here, but primarily being a coach at the moment. Right, and, but you got El Wash. Uh, you got El Wash, yeah. Like, Teleco is a region to not scoff over. I think I recently did a, just kind of an average check on, uh, basically, based on their ranking on the ELO, based on, like, how many players there are, who is the best region. And Teleco was surprisingly, like, third or oh. fourth. Kaden, <laughs> Kaden just messaged me and said that he hasn't taken sets from me. Dude, MC, yes, he has. MC's taken sets from you. I rewind. I could have sworn. <laughs> I wonder if he has any custom Tama skins. I, I didn't see any on, on the setup, I don't think. I'm not sure. I, there may be one for Dark Samus, but if it's mm. any first Samus, it might be the stuff from... Uh, oh, he thought, I, he thought I said Warloft. Nah. No. <laughs> I want to check this ultimate bracket for Big House real quick. I know Shattuck made top 8. Shattuck made top 8 over uh, Psychod, and he, Psychod made a crazy run. Another person that made a crazy run was Frostbite, a boy that beat both Sky J and... Oh yeah. Yeah, Frostbite is, is really good. But we are starting this, Oops. we are starting this losers match uh, between Darn and Shunk. Ike versus Shulk. Um, Okay, Both it, these it players know yet. this matchup. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this has been one, probably the most played matchup that Darn has had to face through as Ben as his main practice partner. Um, Shunk, on the other hand, got you. I, yeah, <laughs> I got me. And it really just comes down to, uh, I feel like this one honestly comes down to not really the stronger player, but possibly the stronger training partner. Uh, because, I mean, I it's pretty clear that I would say that Dawn is a better Ike player than I am, and Ben's probably a better goal player than Chunk. So it's yeah, pr probably. Yeah, pro pro he he probably. is on PR, <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, that was a beautiful Naren up air uh, off the platform. You can kill so early in PS2 with Ike, um, and you can see that's. Really yeah, right now. yeah, Darn is playing pretty well right now. You can also see, I love the use of a uh, quick draw. He's back at ledge, just calling out uh, when, like, just calling out the pattern of bears that Chunk is gonna want to end up doing. And you just kind of see both of them kind of using those long swords right now, just to get them okay. hit each other at the safest distance possible. Yeah, absolutely. They want to maximize their spacing as much as possible with uh, both of their swords, both being very good and neutral in their own ways. Um, but this that's kind of what makes makes this matchup really interesting. Gonna switch to shield. You are at 75% of your last dot. I think. Oh, I think he has a dial storage set up, but I'm not sure. Ooh, nice air dodge. Yeah, he got that air dodge re, just unfortunately not able to convert off of that for Oh, he tried to Ooh, do the Beautiful shield, and uh, he's able to go into speed art before uh, he doesn't die to the smash art. And Ooh. the dare up and not going to be able to connect at that range. Nice beautiful tech. tech coming from Darn. Okay, yeah, he's, uh, Shunk is not really capitalizing on these edge guard situations, um, from Darn. Like, Darn has, is very good at mixing up his side B options off stage for recovering, but as I've seen whenever I saw Ben play against Darn, Ben was almost able to capitalize off of that almost every single time. It's more of a reaction, uh, than anything to be able to punish that, but... Uh, I want to be. I want to see if Shunk will be able to capitalize on that in these upcoming games. Yeah, I definitely agree there. I mean, I think the one thing that Shunk has been really doing good these past uh, couple weeks has been 
just adaptation. Mm -hmm. Like he's started learning like he has a really strong uh he has a really strong advantage state. And I was talking to him earlier, he was talking about how he feels like his advantage state is pretty good today. But what really it comes down to is realizing like, oh, just don't be stupid. And I mean that's really a make or break right there. On, uh, like how you do in the game. Like you get to those early rounds, like yeah, you can goof around. But yeah, absolutely. like it got to play like against this blade and bracket, like you are gonna have to use all of your brain cells to get into this top eight. Yeah, for sure, even if you're a shoulder player. Yeah. We are going to hollow for this game too, which I'm gonna assume the Darn made a lot of those bigger stages and this is gonna be one. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, okay, okay. He tried to get that two frame down there. I gotta say though, Shunk's choice of color could be better. I think this is the worst old skin. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we all agree on that, but he's a big leaky fan. Oh yeah. Like, I know it's based off of the character from uh Yeah, from I mean Blade. I think generally a big downgrade to ultimate skins or stroke skins specifically was adding the hair color. Yeah, he didn't have that in Smash 4. No. It made it look a lot better. I think at first people were pretty pog about it, but now that we were years into the game, it's it hasn't aged well. You just see most shield players use the shirtless skin. Yeah. Darn turned the quick draw all the way and is going to hit Shunk for it. I would have just aimed for that platform. Like, That's what I'm saying. He can't, like, jump and go out of it. Like, uh, I think he can do it in P. Oh. Not, a little too early on the forward smash and shot, but he is continuing to push up Ike and yeah, is able that's to put down his last arm. That was quick. Uh, but obviously darn no stranger to uh, getting these quick stocks, so this is definitely comebackable for him. Yeah, we're okay. seeing a nair nair into up air, not going to be able to get anything off of that. Beautiful back air yeah, from Shunk. back air to punish. Time. Let's see what the punish right here is. With an F tilt. Uh, back into the buffer, extra rack of all that percent. We're now in the smash art range. He wants to get a fair off to push Darn away. Let's see if he can do it right here. Quick draw. Gonna reset back into the neutral position. Shunk immediately going for a dial storage uh, for the future. Nice, right there. He's doing a really good job of making his space right now. Yeah, I love how Shunks uses those bears to just punish those quick draws. And we're gonna see it's a been clean... doing wonders for him. Yeah, I mean, it's a clean game two right there. I mean, like, we saw game one, it wasn't pretty, and Shunk is like, oh, okay, let me just turn on my brain, and we're gonna go. Yeah, you were right, man. The adaptation there definitely showed in that game, and hopefully that stays the same for him in these upcoming matches, but, you know, Darn is also no stranger to making adaptations during the set as well, so it will be really interesting to see what happens. Yeah. Now, is this, uh... It says, Losers Round 2 of Top 16. Right. Uh... Losers Round 2 of Top 16, yeah. And then after that, it's... Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's losers times, but I don't think Okay, well, and just 3 1 Knox and then Texas on the team kill, so end is in top 8 right now. Yeah. Knox, really good player. It's really important to see him out at uh, 9. And then currently we see uh, Mavis and Grandma fighting for that last spot. Oh, <laughs> yo! Oh my god. That was nice. What a good catch. Oh, is that gonna be the stock? Woo! Okay, I think we still have. Yeah, Airsoft's gonna be able to make it back. Really good DI from Shunk. Oh, that able was. Dude, that back. was such a good backslash. This is beautiful stuff. That Aether should kill. Oh, but it was faced the other way. Shunk! This is crazy! This set is crazy. Both of these players are out of the Ooh, Okay, yeah, okay that, yeah, I think that's shield pose. That's 100% shield pose yeah. right there. Oh, uh, both of these players are playing insane right now. Okay, yeah, he wanted the second place. Yeah, I mean, Chuck doing a really good job keeping a lot of this space right now. Uh, but the Jap 3 is going to push Chuck off a little bit and gonna allow... Darn to get some extra early. Oh no. A, uh, Dude, that smash. was a crazy forward smash. I respect it though. 
Yeah, both of, both of these players have kind of had some crazy forward smashes throughout this set. Yeah, I mean, these are two sorties with very limiting recoveries. I mean, yes. Schultz can make his recovery good, but that's like sometimes. If he has jump art, right? Yeah. Or, you know, if he has speed art. If he has speed art and is high at stage. Alright, that forward air is going to catch him at ledge. Nice down tilt. But Darn's going to make it back. Make it back. Uh, going for an up tilt on the forward air. Stream's going to freeze for a second and looks like Sean's going to Well, sorry, folks. Alright, now it's even. Really even once again. Uh, only a 6% difference at the moment. And immediately, just like that, Shunk has beaten it up. Yeah, both of these players definitely playing with their own space super well right now. And we're starting to see uh, a, a sort of... Uh, oh, was, that almost broke his shield. I think the third hit would not have broke because it doesn't reach that high, but it still would have like. Oh, uh, yeah, no, that shield was a skill. Just like that, Rick. Basically, even percent. The forward smash is not, not going to kill this yet, but really crazy. Shunk oh, a little too early. And the dash attack wow. Turn. Yeah. He was a little too antsy on that forward air. Just a little just yes. too early to punish that side. The really good capitalization from Darn there to punish him while he's in smash. All right. Dash attack for sure going to kill in that scenario. Good stuff to him. Yeah. I mean, you can't be disappointed in Shunk at that either. I mean, it was a smart decision. Like, he wanted to just immediately bop him. I don't think he would have needed to go into smash art for it, though. I yeah. Mean, he could have just done it as, like, a normal shoulder for, like, jump art. Right, because at, at, at that distance, with how far he went away from ledge with that forward air, he wouldn't have been able to make it back anyway if it wasn't even the smash art the forward air. Like, I can't do anything in that situation. But yeah. he just, obviously, he just wanted to ensure that kill, but ended up backfiring. You know? Now we're going to be back on PS2. We're back on PS2. This was where uh, Dawn won the first game. So let's see if that adaptation. Oh, that uh, armor is going to go through that back air. Yeah, that's something that Shunk's got to be very aware of is uh, making sure you kind of you avoid that frame 5 super armor because that's a huge punish for uh, any type player. Okay. And who did uh, Darn lose to? Darn lost to uh, MC. That's right. Okay, yeah, MC's been talking on today. Yeah, and I mean, I was talking to him earlier. Really, like, he's played Yeti Kiss from Tulsa so much that, like, oh, he's yeah, been very comfortable on the show. Oh, is this gonna. Ooh, he's trying to get that. Shield. Yep, that's another instance of. Smash art not being the smart play. Right. I think he's just being on it just a little too long. Uh, got the weak hit of backslash right there, otherwise definitely would have killed. Yeah, but Dark is going to let go of his shield a little bit too early, and we're at even percent. This is a great set. Yeah, I mean, I just love big so. Nice. <laughs> okay, that, that up there is going to cover the whole platform. Nice. Darn is doing so well right now, pushing his advantage. Yeah, I mean, he's catching so well with Oh, wow, draw. dude, he's been catching almost every single landing this stock with side B. Oh, just okay, like yeah, he's, he's still got his jump. Gonna be able to take Up tilt's almost going at that early, too. Trump needs to save the shield art uh, to just have any way to just survive. Absolutely. But right now, he's not going to have that security for too long. He's uh, the kill percent. Oh, uh, a little risky. Once again, in the forward uh, to Shunk on his tournament stock right now. It's been the downfall from this whole set. Let's see if he can adapt. Hold nice F tilt. Nice F tilt. Taking a deep breath, making sure that he's able to keep on focus for this last dog. He needs to make sure he's completely aware so he can buff. So we can oh. even have the chance of fighting Darn once again. Nice. But getting so right much there. percent like that Buster art. Oh, that was a great empty hop F tilt. Love that. Yeah, Darn not even gonna bother using the up, he's just gonna air dodge back to ledge. And the forward for smash art, not gonna do it just yet. Darn's gonna quick draw back to stage. Ooh. Okay, yeah, Darn knew that he was gonna uh 
do a Minato R out of that time, bro. Looking pretty grim for him right now, though. Back on Smash Art. And the, you see, this is the this is the time that you want to keep on Smash Art, right? He's at 10%. There's not really a whole lot that that, that Dark can do to be able to kill him. Yeah. But he's not going to be able to capitalize on it. And it doesn't matter for Shunk anyway. He's going to take that stock very handily. Game 5. Yeah. Really close up on both these players we've seen. This is getting to the point where it's so minuscule on if I can get the win or not. Uh, yeah, Elwash isn't here. Uh... I'm not sure if MC will be on stream next. He should be. There's gonna be. He's supposed to be in top eight. Where's gonna start? It's okay. Just be in yeah, that'll be different casters. Yeah. But are we? Are we getting paid for this? Yeah, ten bucks. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> just wanna make sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final game. Uh, going on battlefield. Okay. I like this pick for Darn. Obviously, one of Ike's best stages. Um, kind of compensates for the loss of Yoshi's story, right? Because that was obviously his best stage before. Yeah. Um, as Shunk, I, I probably would have tried to ban this stage, but at the same time, you know. I'm going to assume that he banned it. I forgot who won game. Oh, no, it was. Shunk won game one. No, Darn won game one. Oh, he did. Because Shunk took him to Hollow and then Darn Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, but yeah, I'd assume that these are stages that, like, you want to ban, but Shulk doesn't do bad on this stage. No, absolutely not. I was about to say, yeah, like, this is still a very good Shulk stage. He's still able to, uh, have the distance that he needs to, to be able to, uh, run his space neutral as well as he does with that huge sword of his. Mm -hmm. Right now it's looking pretty, well, let's see if he can capitalize. Oh, he was really, good really, ball, really, okay. really begging on him to, uh, stop being above ledge. Beautiful smash art as well. Good call one, out. Yeah. One thing I'm seeing Darn doing a lot right now is using dash deck a little too much. It's a really strong move, but yeah, so, so much end slow. lag that so you're gonna slow. be punished right there. Yeah, Shunk just using all his time to just kind of okay. run away from Darn. Uh, once the security is going to be end, yeah, the Aether is going to take it. Man, this is as close as you can get. This is a good game of Smash Bros. Yeah, this is a good set of Smash Bros. Got a great parry on there for the second hit. You can obviously tell right now both of these players just have so much experience in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, Shunk's oh, that was get great. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's cooking. Oh my god, that was a really good way to get rid of uh, get rid of shield arc, just kind of resetting. And, and now we can't see. And now right. we can see. It is back in the neutral. Uh, Darn is able to get a grab off, just trying to continue spacing with those nares. Okay. Yeah, both players just kind of giving themselves some space right now, but yeah, Darn is catching able, him with that nair. Not able to get the nair to back in. We are at even percent right now. Darn is, has been able to eat it up. Oh, good forward air right there. Yeah. And the quick yep. draw is not going to make it back. Darn's on his tournament stock. Too far away to make it back. Yeah. This is going to be huge for Shunk if he can get this win, uh, but Darn... As this tale is old as oh. time, Darn is going to want to take this back to a dead even uh, set right here. And he's just going to do it. Just like he that. He gets that eruption. What other possible way could we end this set? Last last stock of 0%. Let's get it. Yeah. Uh, right now, we're seeing Darn be able to get a grab off of uh, off of Darn right there. Going to get the Aether switching oh, back okay, to Shield. Nice Shield Art right there. That was, that was good, good conversion. Okay. Up in there. Uh, gonna land on a quick draw. Nice back air catch. Darn is playing so well on this last stock right now. Doing a okay, really good, a really good job of whip punishing. Not gonna do it quite yet. Still doable for Shunk. Still doable. We are in that shield art range, which is the buster, but we See are if we in can get that percent. Thing. Darn can be able to avoid all those F tilts. Darn playing super patient right now. Not even bother approaching Shunk. He knows that he can time him out if he wanted to. That's Ike. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can pushing get anything that right string. here. Oh my nice gosh. Forward air. We lost a jump. Oh, that's it. The that's the gone. set. That's the set. Shunk taking it over Darn in what the top a eight. Yeah. Went into loser's top eight for Shunk. What a showing. Wow. I think this is Stillwater's first time in a top eight at Arcadians.
That's insane. Great stuff for Shunk right there. That's a really good win. Honestly, kudos to him with that set. That was really well played there. Amazing stuff for both players. I mean, oh Darn yeah, absolutely. Got super Darn, well as well. yeah. Kudos to Darn too. That was that was uh, that was amazing. That was peak Smash Ultimate right there, guys. Yeah. That was a really good set. That being said, that's gonna be end of our block. We're gonna have Mr. Quick and Argonaut coming in soon. Uh, and uh, stay put. It looks like we're gonna have Warwalk versus uh, Lorenzo coming up very shortly. Yeah, we got a stacked top eight, y'all. Y'all do not want to miss this. We already have gotten some insane sets, and it's not even top eight yet. So now that we got to the peak of this tournament, y'all do not want to miss it. Yep. All right. Enjoy your set. See you later. Hey, y'all did great. Hey. Thank you. Thank you.